you're probably asking yourself the same question I get asked all the time, and that is, what is up with all these different brands over at Harbor Freight? I, I get it. Lots of people ask the question. They don't know what's what, what's the good ones, what's the bad ones, what are the, you know, what's, what's best for me? Why do they have so many brands? All that kind of stuff. And we're here, we're going to answer it. Well, today we're going to talk about power tools. Then we're going to, I think next week we'll probably do hand tools. The week after we'll do outdoor, you know, power tools and stuff like that. So this is going to be an ongoing series explaining to you what the different levels of tools are and maybe which ones you want to get, which ones maybe you want to avoid. Now, first of all, I got to talk about their, their tier system, which is good, better, best. Not every line of tools has that. Some of them just have, you know, two of them in that line. But in power tools, we have all three. Now, uh, at, at, at the Den Tools here, we like to use a five-tier system. We we talk about it as entry-level, DIY or weekend warrior, uh, the the prosumer middle of the road, kind of kind of good, you know, it, it's that kind of fine balance. Then we have what's called the value pro, and then finally the professional. Well, we're going to tell you how these all fit in here. So let's jump over and let's talk about the first brand that, that's the top line, the best over a Harbor Freight. If you're looking for power tools, whether they're corded or cordless, you want to be thinking, if you're looking for that high level, you want to be thinking about Hercules. Now, it's funny because Hercules came on the scene, oh, it was about five years ago or so, and a lot of people cried out, oh, I can't believe they're copying Makita with that blue. That's just ridiculous. Why can't they just pick their own color? Well, first of all, there's only so many colors on the spectrum. Second of all, this is nothing more than their old professional series of Chicago electric power tools carried forward. They've had this color in blue for the Chicago Electric Pro Series for decades at this point. So this is nothing new. They've been sitting on this color for a while. They're just carrying it forward into the Hercules brand. But let's tell you about some of the ones that are the standouts, the ones you definitely want to grab for yourself if you're going to be jumping into the Hercules products. First off, we got to talk about the granddaddy of them, and that is the Hercules 12-inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw with the drop shadow LED guide. This is a fantastic saw. It was brought out to compete directly with the DeWalt DWS 780. I did a comparison on them when they first came out and found the saw to be every bit as good and for a third less. And it's it just really hard to argue with that. Since then, this saw has become just a, a standby. People wait for it. When it goes on sale at $300, it's, it's pretty much a must have. Next up, we've got the Hercules 20 volt brushless cordless quarter inch compact three speed impact driver. This thing has been just taking the tool world by a storm. It's fantastic. Tons and tons of people have been sitting there going, I can't believe how much power this thing has. It's competing directly with the big names with Milwaukee and DeWalt and a lot of times beating them. Go and check them out. There's other videos. I've done videos on it, but if you don't trust me, Go check somebody else. A ton of people have been showing the kind of power this little tool has. And at $70 tool only, that's that's not even on sale. It's hard to argue with that this is, is a must have. All right, next up, we got another just kind of blew the market, uh, just put it on its ear, actually. Uh, the the Ultra Torque. Yeah, it's a, it's a ridiculous name. But this brings all the beans. And 189 this came out like 210 220 And even then, it was rocking people. Now we're seeing this in the third or the second gen here. We are seeing it at $190. Again, not a sale price, although you are getting a free battery with it right now. Also, I need to I need to call this out. You may have noticed it. All Harbor Freight always got a bad rap for only having a 90-day warranty, which I thought was ridiculous because you could then buy a better warranty. They were giving basically if somebody had reversed it, if they'd said, hey, you can buy this tool at the full price. But, you know, if you want to give up the warranty and just go down to a 90-day, we're going to give you a discount. People would be thrilled about it. But if you do it, I keep telling them they need to reverse it. But anyway, they don't listen to me. Uh, the whole point, though, is that uh, they, came, they came around and they're like five-year warranty. All Hercules brushless tools, five-year warranty. And the batteries, three-year warranty on the batteries. That is insane. So you just, and unlike other kind of brands where you have to like take it to a service center or mail it in or something like that, you just take it to any one of your, what, there's over 15, 60, I can't remember, they're, they're multiplying like rabbits. Tons and tons of stores everywhere. You just bring it in, slap it on the counter, and they're like, all right, just grab another one. And you're out the door in under five minutes. That's one of the reasons I started shopping at Harbor Freight in the first place, doing what Sears was supposed to be doing. <laughs> anyway, next up on the must-have list, we've got the battery system. we got to talk about the battery system. The fact of the matter is they're using top-end cells here. They're really well-made. They're, they're over-molded. They're, they're rugged. 
Uh, I've done teardowns on the batteries on, on the channel before. They're absolutely fantastic, and they're some of the best bang for the buck. And again, you're getting the three-year warranty on all the batteries. Even, even if you buy the brushed tools, the batteries still come with a three-year warranty. So that's pretty nice. All right, let's talk about the uh, the old uh, Hercules uh, fixed base router here. Now, with Porter Cable out of the mix, kind of came up like who's who's next in line? It's got to be Bosch. Bosch is definitely the best you know fixed base and plunger router out there. But look at this. This is a a 12 amp variable speed fixed base router with the plunge kit for a hundred dollars, and that's not the sale price. The sale price on this inside track takes it down to 15 percent off. That drops it down to $85 for a really well-made router. That is one you cannot sleep on. All right, next up, we're going to talk about the Hercules grinder. As I said, I did a review of this grinder. This made me feel like the old school uh, Dayton grinders, the the just the, the kind of absolute beast you see sitting neglected in the corner of the shop, uh, you know, on a fixed pedestal kind of stuff and just debris everywhere around it because you know it got used each and every day and not used gently. And this thing, this is built just like those. And I was really astounded to see Harbor Freight come out with something like this. 180 bucks, a little bit pricey, but not as pricey as, I mean, try and find one of those used ones. You're going to spend more than that. And when these go on sale, they are a steal. All right, now let's talk about the one, we got to talk about this, the ones to avoid, okay? When Harbor Freight came out with the 12 volt series, they sent me their first three and I said, honestly, they're not bad. They actually are pretty decent. However, the problem with them is that there's just not enough of the series. They're not, and there's brushless versions and stuff like that out with the other lines. Now, since then, they've come out with some more 12-volt stuff that's actually quite intriguing. I actually have quite a bit at this point. But this, and I'll, I'm going to include the quarter-inch uh, impact as well. Uh, I don't see a reason to buy the impact here when you can get a uh, an impact, the, the new impact driver, is is tiny it, it's it's almost in the sub uh, subcompact class this thing while it's thin is super long making it hard to get into some places uh at, at 50 dollars uh, i don't see why you wouldn't just get the uh the impact driver and throw an adapter on it uh and, and if you really need stuff in the 12 volt line you know and, and you need real power then go with the dewalt extreme or go with the uh the milwaukee fuel I like a lot of the 12 volt stuff in the Hercules line. The the impact wrenches are, are not my cup of tea. All right, let's keep going here. Bauer, that's the mid tier. Remember, we're talking good, better, best. So Hercules, I would say, falls into that value pro line. Bauer's going to fall into some of the, the brush stuff is going to be in that DIY Weekend Warrior. The brushless stuff is going to fall squarely in the prosumer grade, okay? Now, as far as Bauer Red, a lot of people were like, oh, you're trying to copy Milwaukee, which is utterly ridiculous when you look at the price and the design. None of it screams Milwaukee at all. Uh, but, you know, people still insist what they insist. But the reality is it's Chicago Electric Red. It, I, trust me, I have the Chicago Electric bandsaw, and it looks identical, except that the red's gotten a little bit brighter. Maybe they're using better plastics or something. But again, this is a color that's been around for decades. They didn't really change anything. They just changed the name on it. They're not copying anybody with it. But that said, Chicago Electric were decent tools. I, I have quite a few of them over the years. I really like them. In fact, I even have this, or my son has. I'm still in my shop, though. The little uh, uh, rotary tool right here. That thing's fantastic. Uh, but let's talk about the, the ones you want to grab, the ones that are going to be standouts. And again, we're going to talk about cordless tools. And again, we're going to talk about the impact, three-speed impact tool, driver only. This is brushless. Now, granted, you're not getting the five-year warranty on the Hercules. You're getting the 90-day. But again, you can buy the warranty if that's important to you. And, and if you do, it's just going to take up the price of everything else. But then you're going to get that in-store warranty versus the ship it to some location kind of warranty. But at $40, not on sale, that's a decent price. When this goes on sale, when this goes on sale, it's... I know I'm stuttering here. It is an insane price, and you got to grab it if you're in the Bauer line. For for the weekend where you're prosumer grade, that's a really nice impact driver. It really is. All right, let's keep going here. And then we got to talk about their new brushless impact, high torque. This, for for the dollar, is an astounding tool. And when it was on sale, I think it was 100 bucks. you got to go check out my buddies over at Torque Test Channel. 
go check them out. They do torque testing on all of these. And they'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you, that pound for pound, this is one of the best budget impact wrenches out there. It's it's absolutely a beast. Considering what they used to have in the line, it is more than a breath of fresh air. And honestly, it feels like it... Oh, I'm gonna, I, honestly, I think it's just the Hercules just kind of detuned a little bit, which is what pretty standard for, for most tool manufacturers anyway. All right, let's keep going here. Next up, we got the battery system. For a budget-level tool, uh, they have really decent batteries and a nice selection. You got a 1.5, a 3-amp, a 5-amp, and an 8-amp-hour battery. And for not too much money, it, 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 again, it, it, with the key with Harbor Freight is always buy with a coupon, always buy when it's on sale because it goes on sale uh, every other week or every other month. So, uh, you know, if you can hold out and get them on sale or get them as a deal, sometimes they do BOGOs and stuff like that. They're, they're great values when you can catch them like that. Now, uh, the, the, talking about the best tools out there, this bandsaw. Now, I have the old Chicago Electric. They haven't really changed anything in the Bauer. It is a go-to bandsaw. Yes, it's corded, but it'll just give it time, let it do the work. It'll chew through anything. And what I always say, what do I... What, you guys have been with the channel. You know what I'm going to say here, don't you? The longtime viewers know what I'm going to say. It's all about the blade, okay? It's just like a car. I keep I say this analogy all the time. You guys buy yourself a cheap car, get good tires, and it will drive like you wouldn't believe. You get a good tire, you buy a good car, you buy cheap tires, and it's going to drive well like a cheap car. It's all about the blades. Get good blades. And you won't look back. Uh, I think I'm running Linux on mine right now. But Harbor Freight, the new uh, Hercules ones are pretty good as well. All right, let's keep going here. This thing, <laughs> I, I don't know where it came from, but I, I don't want to live without it. I absolutely love it. Harbor Freight sent it for, to me for a review. I did a big review. I put it up against a bunch of other similar tools. It easily came out uh, on top when it comes to horsepower. This thing is a beast. Uh, it's got the 8-inch uh, grinding uh, disc on one side. you got the belt sander on the other side. You have the LED on the articulating light there. This is a fantastic grinder sander. Uh, whether you're doing woodworking or working with metal, this is great in any kind of small shop. And, and anybody who's like thinking about, like, hey, maybe I want to get into knife making or just kind of play around. Or maybe you're just sharpening you know, like lawnmower blades and, and, and garden tools or chisels and whatnot. Absolutely fantastic. All right, the, this, this I've, and, and I'm not calling out Harbor Freight in particular with this because uh, these get OEM from some, I, there's like one company in China that's making these. And they made the original one for rigid, and then they downsized it and sell it to everybody else. Winds has one. Grizzly has one. There's one called Eagle something that has one. I think everyone has one. I'm probably going to come out with one next week. I mean, it's kind of the thing that people are doing these days. But that said, they are a must-have. Any of them. Don't, don't like the Harbor Freight one? Then get another one. And here's what I'll say. Look for whichever one's on sale. Right now, 209 that's not a buy at price. But there are times when this thing has dropped way under $200, at which point you got to grab it. I've had about all of them. I've had the Rigid. I have two of the Win. I have the Bauer. I don't have the Eagle or the Grizzly. But uh, they're, they're all virtually identical. Even the, the, the belt system is interchangeable between them all. Trust me, I've tried. I got a video from way back, like four years ago on that. Fantastic tool. Anybody who's doing any kind of woodworking, uh, it, it just even basic kind of construction kind of stuff, it, it's not a, a bad tool to have. All right, let's keep going here. Next up, we've got the Bauer Shop Vac. This thing for 80 bucks is a decent shop vac. I've tested it against Rigid. I'm sorry, I know Rigid used to be the go-to in shop vacs. They're not what they used to be, brother. They're just not. DeWalt and Bauer have eaten their lunch. DeWalt ate their lunch and then is now dating their girl. It's that bad. I kid you not. I got the DeWalt still Sonic in the shop. It, it The speed and the suction on that thing is incredible. And it's so quiet. You're like, is it on? I, I can't believe it. It's fantastic. But it's again, it's more than twice the price of this. The Bauer, we actually use at home. The wife stole mine from the shop, which is how I justified buying the Stealth Sonic. Uh, but I did a test on it, and you can see, and lots of other people have too, the, the, it beats the ba or beats the rigid every single day, uh, and it, the construction on it is top-notch. For the money, it's hard to find a better shop vac right now. All right, next up, we got the one you want to avoid. I'm sorry, but when it came out, it wasn't bad because... Well, there wasn't anything else in the line. And, you know, if you're just taking off lug nuts and doing basic stuff, it, it would get the job done. I did a brake job on uh, a Jeep uh, ZJ with it, 
uh, and you know it, it could get in there. It was it was tough. Luckily, we were just doing the front brakes, uh, but it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. And with a little bit of this, a little bit of that, we managed to get it done. I wouldn't want to do it again. Um, and th- here's the thing. You don't need to buy this. In fact, I'm not sure why it hasn't been discontinued because this is out. And this is the brushless cordless three-speed. Uh, this is basically what they're now calling their mid-torque because they got the high-torque. We just showed you the high-torque. Well, this is the mid-torque, and this thing has pretty much the exact same power as as the uh, the other one. Uh, and uh, it it's brushless, so it's going to use less batteries, it, and it's smaller so it's going to get in more areas absolutely we got 50 was it 60 dollars on this uh and you if you buy it get this and you get a f- buy one bower three amp hour battery and get a free tool so i think if you buy the battery you can get the tool for one of these wow that's a great deal anyway let me jump back to the other one here you're looking at 60 dollars for 214 or sorry 450 breakaway and on this one you're looking at 60 dollars and you're looking at 475. So <laughs> you're getting 20, sorry, 25 more foot pounds and at the same price in a compact tool. Uh, yeah, don't don't buy the old impact wrench. I'm sure it's gonna go away. It has to. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that like, hey, when when it came out, at least we had something, but we got better now. So he can go off and live on the farm or wherever you do with with critters like that. All right, <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, next up, we got to talk about Warrior. Warrior is the good, and it should honestly be called the good enough. This is what we call a solid entry-level tool. And they have a decent little selection, whether you're talking about corded or cordless. They got the little you know table saw there. Uh, the, they got some cordless here, the jigsaw. We got a drill. Uh, they've got uh, a multi-tool in cordless. Uh, they got, uh, let's see, your, your basic everyday kind of, uh, of drill. That's not bad. Honestly, the heat gun's not terrible. But let's talk about here. Again, people are like, well, you know, where'd they come up with this? They're going after Black & Decker, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, not really the case because it's just a replacement for Drillmaster. Again, been around for decades. Again, wearing the same colors. It's, well, it was black and red. They, I think they went to black and orange to get away from looking too much like uh, Black & Decker there. But they've had these tools forever. There's nothing new about the color system. They've just updated the tools, changed the name, which is a good thing. Now, if ones you want to grab, the grinder. you got to talk about the, the, the inexpensive grinders when they go on sale. They're definitely a must pick up. They're, they're, you know, you're not going to grind for 30 minutes at a go with them. They're not super heavy duty, but you throw a flap disc. Basically what you do, and I know pros, long, like guys my age who've been in, in the welding business for decades, probably longer than a lot of you have been alive, who have two or three of these on their welding cart because they've got one or two, like they got a big Makita or they've got a big DeWalt or a big Metabo as their main grinder. And then they have a couple other grinders. And then they have two or three of these that are just their little miscellaneous. So they don't have to change flap discs or change discs all the time. If they're like, okay, I'm going to go for that disc. And they just grab the, the Warrior and they're just doing a little touch up, a little of this. And th- that way you're not sitting there wrenching. You know what it's like changing discs. It's not fun. So why not just do something as simple as that? All right, let's keep going here. Uh, the Warrior Heat Gun, for light duty kind of use, it's not a terrible gun. It's actually, a lot of people swear by it. Uh, I like the Bauer one better because it has got the, the back on it. It's really flat, so you can sit it down, have it point upright, and work with your hands free. But uh, if you just need some light duty kind of work for 20 bucks, and it's even cheaper on sale, this is a, a decent uh, you know decent one to get out of the Warrior line. Uh, next, we got the Sander. I've, I've talked about the Sander all the time you're I mean, if you're a friend of the channel you've been around you're probably tired of me talking about it because i love this old detail sander i have used and abused it for years uh i got it when it first came out and i've done nothing to treat it right uh, redheaded stepchildren get treated better than this ask me how i know uh and the fact is that it just keeps going and asking for more for twenty dollars it's a decent price at ten dollars because it's 50 percent off right now it's buy two it's like chiclets you can just go right through them anyway let's keep going here uh the multi-tool that's not a bad little multi-tool i've actually used this quite a bit uh i in fact one time i was 
uh, at a friend's house. We were doing something. We had to rip down some OSB, and a circ saw died. And we used this thing to cut uh, a, a four by eight OSB board down the center lengthwise. So th that was it. It did the job. It wasn't thrilled about it, but it did the job. Uh, now, next up, we got to talk about Admiral, and Admiral is. This is one of the ones, I got a couple here that don't really fit the mold. And we're not really sure where Admiral came. It definitely is trying to sneak into that, that better, you know, not the best, not the good. It was in that middle of the row, middle or middle of the range. And then they came out with Bauer stuff. And you're like, oh, I don't know what's going on here. And as you can see, is the table saws. It came out as the middle of the road table saw. And I remember them touting it a lot. And I was like, well, it's technically a little bit bigger than the Warrior which is nice, but it's not its not much better. It really wasn't, and it's nowhere near what the Hercules was. So I didn't really see where it kind of played into that, and it looks like it's going away. It's on clearance. Maybe they're going to redo it. I don't know if Harbor Freight knows what they're doing with the Admiral uh, brand. So they've, they've got uh, the sliding miter saw, which was a decent, you know, uh, homeowner DIY-grade sliding miter saw, but then they came out with the, the, the Bauer. And I don't know what's going on because then the Bowers go away and then these are going away and they have Admiral Sawblade. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Honestly, I don't know. Unless you desperately need it in that level uh, at 239 and I, I would just go for the Hercules if you can. And I get it. It's a good bit of money, uh, money more. But uh, it, it's a much better saw. And the, I don't know, I, I think, honestly, I think the Admiral line is going to go away. That's my prediction for 2024. Uh, and then next up, we've got the, the Diamondback line. And Diamondback is, it, it's just their wet sauce, their wet, uh, their, uh, you know, tile and, and stone sauce. And Harbor Freight did send me their 15 amp, the big one there for $500. And I am not a tile guy. I'll be the first to tell you I'm not a tile guy. But I threw it, put it through its paces, did a bunch of stuff, uh, had an absolute blast with it. And again, it's the kind of thing where you get get good blades, you know, follow the instructions. Uh, I would say that the, you know, I've talked to some people since then. I had some people weigh in and contact me. I would definitely say these fall into uh, at least the, the 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 larger one fall into that whole value pro kind of level, high end prosumer. Or, or value pro again i'm not a tile guy uh i was there's a channel i think it's called landberg tile he's a really entertaining guy i chatted with him a few years ago i think when this came out and he said he was uh you know mildly impressed with it and uh, that it you know had a place in some people's you know toolbox as it were so you can go check him out and see if he still feels that way about it but uh, honestly i thought you know if you're when it's on sale seemed like a pretty good deal all right and then we got to talk about Earthquake. Earthquake is one of the brands that are going away. So, but not in in the air tools. If you're in air tools, calm down, take a breather, step back. You can, it's all right. I'm sorry the bad man scared you. But for the cordless stuff, it's going away and it's getting replaced by Hercules. All the all the high end cordless stuff that Earthquake was doing is now all over in Hercules. And they told me that explicitly that that was happening. There's still some stuff of it languishing around. You can, uh, we, if you feel like you want to grab it, uh, go ahead. Here's a, a little trade secret for you. So the company that makes the AC Delco brand also makes these. Now there's a couple different styles of AC Delco, but if you go on Amazon and you look it up and you can look at, look at the battery, it jumps out and it'll tell you, well, those batteries with AC Delco and the chargers and the tools and the earthquake are all interchangeable. Same with the 12 volt stuff. All right. Just make sure it's the same style of battery that's with it. And if it is, you're good to go. So if you're in the earthquake line or you're thinking about getting it and you're like, well, I want to, it's super cheap, but where will I do about batteries in the future? AC Delco's got you. Well, there you go. That's all the power tools explained, all the different levels, the good, better, best, how they fit into our five tool spectrum. I hope it makes sense for you. If not, put a question down in the comments. I try to answer all the questions and, and get back to everybody. It may take me a, a few days, but I try to get around to it. Anyway, if you have anything else, what do you want me to do next? Should I do hand tools next? Should I do outdoor power equipment? I know spring's around the corner. Let me know what other brands you want explained, or if there's somebody outside of Harbor Freight that isn't making sense to you, let me know, and we'll lay it, we'll lay it down here for you. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. If you like what we do here, why don't you go ahead and chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on your way out so YouTube knows that you're serious. Anyway, you all take care. God bless, and as always, shine on.